Hello everybody and welcome to Call of the Wild, the Angler. This is the new fishing game that is going to be hitting the scene here very shortly on the 31st. A big thanks to Expansive Worlds for sending me an early uh, copy of this game to showcase it to you. And we're going to go into it here uh, just after about almost 17 hours of play. Uh, and I've got about 13, I think, of the achievements unlocked. So as you can see, we have some fish here on the surface as the sun is starting to come up. Uh, this is a open world fishing game, uh, and it's what is the biggest appeal about it, honestly, compared to other uh, options out there. But as the sun comes up, they are going to get uh, more active on the top of the water right now. I've been kind of just pulling them up. Actually, I'm just going to go ahead and throw right on here into this cove and start reeling in uh, using a frog. They seem to really like the frog. Uh, the bass do. All sorts of different species do. And there's a lot in this game. Uh, keep in mind, you know, this is a early access to this game. We already got one on the line there. I've been just knocking them back. And I've got a pretty powerful rod and reel here. So well, I'll show you all that stuff here shortly. There we go. We got a uh, got a bass. And you get that black screen. I'm not a huge fan of that. There's no net to pull them out or anything like that. It was a silver uh, 2.9 pound smallmouth bass. Roam back in. This is catch and release only. Uh, you can't keep them and put them in tanks and stuff as of now. Um, and one thing I'm noticing here uh, in this current build of the game, and now, uh, you know, keep in mind, again, it's early, so I don't know if this will be fixed or not. I really hope it is, but you see this horrible depth of field. You can actually see the circle um, kind of around me, and I have depth of field turned off in the options. It's just not doing it. The water's blurry on top, although if that blur goes away, um, you'd have beautiful water like we see here uh, in the foreground. So I'm hoping they fix that. Um, it's more of an arcade experience than anything else, to be honest with you. You have four different um, presentations you can do. You've got your, you know, constant, as you can see right there. I can do stop and go, so I can stop and go. And you'll see it turn yellow, and then it'll turn off, and you let go of it. And then it'll turn yellow. Oh, we got a strike. The bass really like whenever you do that as well. Um, that's one of the presentations you can do. Let's bring him on in here. Where you at? And the swimming animations look pretty good. I think it's a little channel catfish, isn't it? I believe so. Yes, it is. Little channel cat. Um, and oh my God, in the very beginning, you need to put uh, a hat and glasses on this guy because he looks so creepy. He just stares at you into uh, into the unknown uh, whenever you have a fish in your hands. And I'll show you some more of that as we go on. Like I said, this is the first look here today. So we're taking it easy. Uh, as far as that goes now, I can just right click and just kind of toss it in there um, and it really gets the gets the bass excited sometimes, but it depends on the time of day. Uh, another thing is that we're going to go through the journal and missions and things like that in this video as well. I just wanted to show, you know, catching fish right out of the gate like you can do it. Um, you can speed up your real speed. All you would like there. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you what it's like with the drag. Now, what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to throw it over here, uh, out here in the middle of the channel. And you can let that thing sink. You can see that's 12.1 meters down to the bottom of the, the river there. So you can let certain lures sink. Now, something that's not right about the frog is that the frog is a top water lure. Um, and it seems to be getting... Oh, you see, I'm just absolutely cranking this thing in here. Um, I need to slow it down quite a bit. Ooh, look at this big bass right here. Now watch what you can do. When you see a fish, you throw it out there, you're going to see their behavior. It's pretty predictable, honestly. So I'm going to pull it. I'm going to slow it way down here. Yep, you can see how he did that little diving animation there. He's definitely going to strike it. And that arcade strike sound and all that, I, I've got a lot of hours in this game already, and I can tell you, oh, he's very easy to pull in. Um, I can tell you, it gets old after a while. I really wish they have an option to turn that off. I would love to see personally, um, you know, the bottom right where that shows the lure or the, uh, you know, the different um, uh, bobbers and stuff. And I'll show you that style of fishing as well. There's so much to show you here in a little bit of a time. But uh, and we're on a boat <laughs> as well. Forgot to tell you about that. Um, so that um, is something to be, you know, desired uh, by a big group of people that love fishing sims and things like that. Is this Russian fi fishing simulator? No. Is it like you know, fishing planet and things like that? No. Uh, this is its own entity and, uh, and and I think there's a lot here going for it that will be good down the road. Um, but as of right now, I think it will disappoint a lot of people. 
I've been having a blast with it, though. To be honest with you, I've been having a lot of fun with it. Um, yeah, let's bring this guy in. There's a pike right there. I see him just kind of swimming down the, down the way. What are you? You another bass? Uh, looks like a smallmouth bass. Yep, come here. We'll pull you right on up in here. Yep, that's a smallmouth. And let's go ahead and release him back to the world. And you see that pike right there. The pike, they fight you a lot more. You see him right there, actually. And watch. He's going to do the classic. When I start pulling this, he's going to do the dive. There he goes. There's the dive. So you know he's already going to strike it. It'll just like that. And you can pull him out like crazy. Now I'm going to show you the map here in a second. And some other things about the game. But like I said, I wanted to show you what the fishing mechanics are like currently. Um, this is the early build. And devs have been in and out of this uh, world. It's like an MMO style world where you jump into the map and like here, there's a person tipsy FPS is playing currently right there. Um, and uh, there's one down here, uh, Mel G Bones. And then you got uh, some others uh, that you'll see here and there, like down here, Dose Slayer and uh, Pro. So it's a live world with your Apex account. Uh, sometimes there'll be devs in here and you will just see days go by fast. Like they, they just crank up the time of day and you'll see the sun just go whoop across the day like four times. I don't know if they're testing things or what they're doing, um, but we might see that in this. So don't freak out if it happens. Um, I promise to not freak out as well. So let's show some more of uh, what you get. Oh, there's a big fish out there. Let's get him. Who's good cast? He's in cast. So we had the constant stop and go. And then you have twitching. You can do twitching. You just kind of twitch it here and there. You'll see we get twitching. And the actual presentation will light up whenever you do that. Now, you can do jigging as well. We'll go down into a lake where some massive, massive lake trout like to live uh, and do some jigging. I've only been successful once with them. But uh, I find that a lot of these in the current state um, seem to have the same results. A lot of these different uh, lures that we're using today. So I, what they have said is that these fish will behave like they are in real life. Um, in a lot of ways, meaning that if you have some knowledge in the real world with fishing, you can definitely, uh, do that. So, uh, that was a big, large mouth. What did we get here? He was a five pounder. So he's in silver range. He's not, uh, not gold. The silver to gold is like very, very, very small amounts between the two. All right. So this is the map and you can see it is absolutely massive. I have a few of the different, uh, outposts unlocked. I got one there, here. Uh, here and I'll show you the bait shop and things like that along the ways um, but in the very beginning they have you just kind of do a small tutorial you get through that uh, and then the second one is they want you to go unlock all these different spots all the way around the map the map is so big they really want you to explore the map and um, I recommend doing that at a later time just get some fishing in and have fun but if you're first starting out if you complete that whole thing you get a lot of money for it. So it's worth it if you want a good starting spot. So we're up here just at the mouth of this river that feeds these two lakes. You have a lake here and it comes down into this big, massive lake. One of the biggest lakes in the entire uh, region and map besides this one over here. Um, so we're right here. If you're wondering where I'm catching the fish, it's right here in this cove. I love this cove and this channel right here. I've been having great success. Keep in mind it being an early build like that. Uh, they have the species absolutely cranked to the max, so you just get fish constantly. So that is the thing as well. We have the backpack here, and you can see we have our rods, we have our reels, we have our tackle. Um, and I don't have a whole lot still working towards it right now. Um, and a rod selection this is where you can go into an equipment slot, and you can choose between float fishing, lure spinning, uh, and jig head spinning as well for your rigs. And then you can change out the rods, your reels, your lines, and your frogs and you have mastery you'll see the mastery on those um when you get those completely to the to the end you just get xp for it and a little bit of money bonus sometimes but um it's not like a uh it's not like a huge perk system built into the game um apart from that so that's that one and then i've got my float fishing rig and then i've got my jig head which has got the big boy on there i mean look at that 55 pound uh <laughs> strength 22 on the reel uh and then we're using braided uh, strength 22 pound uh, test on that. And then we've got a jig head and a extra large grub, which the lake trout seem to like quite a bit. Um, what I have noticed with the lines is it goes off of the rod. So the rods like max strength is what you can actually put on there. Anything underneath it, it will not let you. It'll just gray out if you try to do that. 
Uh, then you have the journal. This is where you can find your shopkeeper information, tutorials right here. Have not been able to catch a bluegill yet. Uh, favors right here. Haven't done any of the tourist ones yet. I've done some of the uh, invasive plant ones. You do get XP and money for that. So doing these is a lot of fun as well. Uh, and then the game guide itself about bluegill, about boat driving, car driving, casting, catch a fish, float fishing. And then you have all of these down here as well. We're not going to go through all of them, but... These are all the different, uh, different game guides that they give you, which which is really nice if you're just starting out. And then you have the handbook. Here are your 12 species that are in the game. You have largemouth bass. You have smallmouth. You have bluegill, channel cat. You got yellow perch, northern pike. Then you have the uh, kakani salmon. Then you have a sauger. And then you have golden trout, lake trout, rainbow trout, and finally, Mountain Whitefish. That's all that's in the game currently. Later on down the road, I'm sure they're going to add a lot more species and maps and things like that. Uh, latest catches, here they all are. I've been catching some crazy ones. So the, one of the big boys I caught was the lake trout. Um, and I don't even think it's even remotely close to here. So <laughs> um, it was like uh, almost 30 pounds. It was huge. Um, so then we have coins. You can collect coins. Like I said, the exploration in this game is pretty... Um, pretty cool and you can inspect them and uh and read about them pretty neat little bit of history there for sure uh and then you have like lost and found items i haven't found any of those yet uh and then you have figures an elk figure i found here you can inspect it and they teach you some things about it as well notes you can find around the place and you can read them so i don't want to give too many spoilers here on that stuff that's stuff to find throughout the entire world uh, and then finally, here's my profile. Oh, there it is. The biggest catch red record right there. The one I was telling you about. I wasn't Lion C. We had 27 pound lake trout gold. He was huge. Um, and then here's all of the other stuff. Warden favors completed. Challenge missions. Points of interest discovered. 36 of 102. Uh, and then in fishing, here we go. Mount Cod. I've caught 300 fish. A 99 strike success rate. Catch success rate of 100. Largemouth bass seems to be my favorite species. You have your gear and then exploration. Distance traveled by foot, 8.6 miles. Uh, travel by water, 14, 41 by land-based vehicles. Okay, so you notice there is some clipping issues happening here on the boat. I can change positions on the boat itself. I can go up here to the bow on the left. I can go to the back right, and you can just have these four points. Now, if you're on multiplayer, you can have up to four people on one boat. Pretty darn cool. Um, and like I said, you know, with it being kind of like an MMO style, I, maybe that's the wrong word for it, but an open uh, multiplayer experience, you're going to see other people out there on their boats uh, while we're fishing today, which is really cool. Look at this pike right over there. We could catch that pike real fast, but yeah, I mean, some of the um, animations for these fish are very, uh, they're very disappointing. Yeah, so there he goes right there. Going down to do the whole thing. He's going to get a strike immediately right here. Come on. Take it. There you go. Now, he's a bigger boy, and he would be a little... See, like that right there, that is weird animation stuff that you'll see. And he was a bigger pike, but he didn't try to fight us too hard. Silver, 10.24. All right, cool. So, some of the fish, uh, whenever... I have found if you have a rod and reel set up, and the fish is really, really big for it, um, or it gives you a good fight, it seems like you're getting more of a realistic kind of experience out of that whenever you have like an op rod and reel on small fish it just looks ridiculous sometimes you just like this guy right here watch bring him in he's gonna do the whole there's the dive he's like yep i definitely want it they, they love this frog man this frog and this is a hook size of six you can change out your hook sizes for larger stuff but you'll see like that it's just ridiculous you just whoop, he's a little minnow at that point easy money um and there's the score down there there we go. I know I'm being fast about it. All right, let's get into the boat. I'll show you what the boat's all about. Um, you don't have a third person view. You can see left, you can see right, you can look behind you. And I'm gonna use the Xbox controller here for that. Ooh, that's a big bass right over there. Now, anytime you're just kind of cruising along here and you see a big fish, you just immediately hit equip rod. And uh, you see him right there. He's, he's a pretty decent sized bass, so I'm gonna try to get him. I, th I think I can get him. Come on, buddy. Slow my rod down. Sorry, my reel. There you go. Let's see if he wants that. Come on. You want it. Oh, uh, there's another one already after it. See that? It's a little pike. Yeah, we'll bring you in really fast. Like I said, 
if I see a fish, I, it's kind of hard to not want these guys when you're doing all this. So you can hit tab to toggle the UI if you want to get a better picture, but there's no photo mode in, in the game, which is kind of weird to me. Um, it's missing. I think that, you know, it would be really cool to have that, but... Oh, that's a big old rainbow trout out there. I'm going to get him. I'm going to definitely get that guy. Now, you'll notice the speed I have my reel set at. You'll have to go down one slower for these trout. The trout don't like to chase it too much. Uh, he'll be easy to catch. Bring you in. So you can pump by right-clicking and then, you know, bringing in all of the uh, slack on the line as well. Change up your drag with Z and X. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty janky looking with the uh, the fish right now. But when you get a big fish, it's it's much more fluid, I guess. It's a, I don't know if that's the right word. I want that dang bass we were trying to get earlier. Come on, bass. Go after it. I think he's going to get it. You'll see him. Yep, there. He just did the dive for it. So, yeah, we'll expect that bass to take it. I'm going to go ahead and speed it up a little bit. Do a little bit of twitch. We'll get him really excited for it. And you should hit that lure pretty quickly. The sounds of the game are nice. I had to turn him the ambient part of it down. There it is right there. I had to turn the ambient side of it down um, because it was a little too loud with the slapping water sounds constantly whenever you're out here fishing for a long time. There you go. Had a little bit of a little bit of a jump. But for the most part, he was very, very easy to bring in. Okay. Let's go release you back to the wild. We made some money off that. Let's get back in the seat. Let's go. Fire this thing up. And I'll show you what boating is like. The boating is actually pretty fun. Now, there's only one boat currently in the game. I, it looks like there's going to be three. So this is an early build. Probably only has just one in it currently. I'm not sure how old this build of the game actually is that we're playing on here. But from what I've seen in screenshots and things that are coming down the road, I haven't seen them here in the game. So I would imagine that will be added uh, later on. We'll go underneath here, and we're going into the main lake. We might actually see some people out here. Like I said earlier, we would. Now, one of the missions you can do is reporting these weather stations in out here. So we're going to go do that. I think that might be somebody out on a boat out there. But the boat isn't super fast. This one is, you know, the, the typical bass boat. But it looks like it's doing about 22 miles per hour. Maybe that's kilometers an hour there. Or is that RPM? I don't think it's RPM. RPM is about 5,000 RPM there. So, yeah, speed around 20-something miles an hour on the water, which in reality, it would be much quicker. A bass boat can do almost 80 miles an hour on the water if you're an idiot and you want to almost die. So you're reporting station. Now you're a quarter through them floaters. That tech sure is something else. Shame they can't check themselves. So, yeah, as part of the deal is reporting things into the warden. So let's head back over here to the outpost and I'll show you a little bit more about the tackle and things like that now I'm not a master when it comes to fishing when it comes to fishing games anything like that I enjoy them greatly uh, I used to go fishing all the time when I was younger I haven't been fishing in a while since like 2015 I think was the last time I went fishing and that was uh, salt water and fresh water actually did both all right or here to the left now when you get close to here um, you can dock the boat It'll just automatically do it for you just like that. There's no other way to really dock the boat, but it will leave your boat this time over here. Um, either this spot here, there, or there. That's pretty much it when it comes down to it. Let's go ahead and run up y'all. You can see, I love the texture work. Like, the texture in the game itself is just absolutely beautiful. And one thing that's really cool, and I'll say this as we're walking up here to the bait shop, is that the idea is so awesome for a fishing game to be this size um, because your imagination takes over and you see the, the map like this and go, I can go to any of these bodies of water and, and fish. It, it's pretty neat when you think about it. And we haven't gotten into the, the Jeep and, and taken the Jeep out or anything like that, but that's the biggest appeal to the game. I think that's the reason why I keep coming back to it um, instead of, you know, this many hours in not. Hey, here's a person. And here's something else. I really, really wish we had a text chat, at least. You know, voice chat, I get it. You'll have trolls and things like that. But, I mean, a text chat would be really nice. Um, so you could talk to each other. Look at it. We have a bunch of people here. We have a bunch of people. What's going on? The only way you can communicate with others is doing this. This is it. This is this is how we all been communicating with each other. We, we kind of just, he's in his menu. 
but we just jump at each other and that's it. I'm like, dude, give us a text chat so we can be like, hey, where did you catch that fish? Hey, the fish are biting here. Hey, what bait are you using? What tackle are you using? Especially whenever you're next to each other out on the lake, you can have a conversation. That would be so ideal and so cool. Um, so there's that. Another thing is that she is extremely loud and obnoxious. Hey, hey, hey there we go. <laughs> uh, you see, we have a bunch of people here. I can't even see all their names. You got, that's uh, Lagnarok. Then we got Young Henny and uh, somebody else. Jimmy Dally. That's who we got. I think they're all, I think we have a lot of YouTubers and uh, streamers and stuff here. But hey, hey, what's up? Um, So... You can go into your options, and I know this is, it sounds almost petty and dumb, but go into options, you go into your ago, audio language, dialogue volume, I have it set to 25, it's much more manageable. When it's she's like this, me, this, listen to this. This is, this will be what the experience is like to talk to her. Take a look at these. Yeah, it's just, it's so loud and obnoxious. Yeah, I wanna buy something, equipment. And when you're looking at stuff, she'll Everyone start talking. Everyone somewhere. But See? anyone who's anyone starts with the And then if I horn. click on this, this she'll say something about that one too. So literally just get out of there. Options, audio, turn her down. In, in the warden too. They're just very loud out of the gate. So I, I keep them at like a 20, a cool 25. That works for me. Apply that setting. Awesome. So let's check out right the actual left. tackle shop. We have buy equipment options. Here they all are. We have everyone bait. You have spinning rods, bait casting rods, and match rods. Those are the three options you have. Uh, and then you have reels, spinning, and bait casting as well. Some of the animations on these look kind of strange. I'll show them to you later on. Um, and then lines. You have monofilament, you've got fluorocarbon, and then you've got your braided. So, And then you can see here's the strength and the diameters all the way up until you get to 44 pound uh, test strength. Pretty crazy. Uh, and abrasion resistance, moderate visibility high. I'm not sure currently, because um, if you look at the fluorocarbon, you're gonna get those visibility low. I'm not sure if uh, if that matters so much in the game currently, because I haven't come across anything that would remotely say that that is. Uh, lures, we got spinner baits, we got spinners, we got poppers, we got frogs, we got spoons, swim bait, jerk bait, and crankbait and currently like i said it seems to be the same four presentations and they all do the same thing smaller fish you got it spinner baits haven't had very much luck with these guys yet um but it has to do with the hook size the fish that are in the area currently and the hook size matter a lot remember that hook size one is the largest hook and hook size 10 is the smallest hook uh and then we have hooks here like i said I was just talking about those. There's a hook size there. Uh, and then you have these big slash, big slash ones. So those are your big massive boys. Uh, and then baits, you have natural baits. So barley, bread, dough, hot dog, liver, marshmallow, eggs, and cheese. And then in live, you have blood worms. When you're first starting out doing bobber fishing, float fishing, whatever you want to call it, these are great. Highly recommend these. You're going to catch a lot of fish off those. Um, you have red worm leeches. You'll get a lot off of them too. And then minnow. No, they are not cute. They are blood sucking leeches. Different float options here you got right here. And then we have our jig heads. So you have light, medium, and heavy jig heads. Uh, and this is one that you'll see me using today when we go down and try to catch a big massive fish by jigging. Uh, and then our soft plastics. You have worm shads grubs and tubes and uh, that's pretty much it and then the sizes go up on the hooks right like that that's all we got right there uh apparel wise you can customize your guy with shoes rubber boots hiking boots as well you know what yeah we could do that because i'm gonna show you in a minute uh i'll get these let's buy those there we go buy them uh gloves you can get fingerless gloves you can get extra grip gloves here pretty darn cool all, all this is there uh, and then you have your tops, which you have to be careful with some of the jackets. So you have short sleeve, long sleeve, rain, and then you have thermal. The thermal jackets seem to be currently in this build as of right now. They have a glitch where you can, or a bug where you can, you can see it, the jacket in front of you when you're fishing. Kind of broken uh, currently. And uh, then we have shorts, 
and we have all our long options as well. So a lot of customization you can do. And then hats and fishing hats as well. I already own that guy. Um, and then accessories, all your sunglass options here. That's pretty much it. That's that's all you can really do. Uh, and then vehicles, we, we only have the Lionheart 500 in here. I'll show you the other two. Uh, there's a picture of them out there on the uh, on the actual marina. Um, and these are just different paint schemes for it. So you can do that. In fact, you know what? I'm going to get one. Um, that one's kind of cool. I like that one. I like the big yellow boat. The big yellow boat's kind of cool. Um, ooh, I wish that they had the sparkles in it. You know, all the glitter that would go into a bass boat. That would be pretty darn cool, right? Um, we could be loud and proud out in the water with the yellow one. So let's do that. I'm going to buy it. Why not? And then you have your cars. This is the Jeep you get in the game. Um, and then you can just get paint schemes for it pretty much. Oh, man. It's like right up, right there for Wes. Ooh, a black one. I like the, I like the black one. That's pretty cool. Oh, it's got like the, the Italian... Uh, you know what I'm going to do? Ooh, I like that camo one. I think I'm just going to go with the all black one. That's just more of my, more of my style, you know? Buy it. Yes. All right, sweet. And then this is the only place you can access customization and storage. Storage, you can throw different rods and reels and all sorts of stuff in here that you need, uh, you know, for all your stuff that you own. So it's nice to have storage for later. Um, also, you can go into customization, and this is the only place you can do this. You have body type A and body type B. That's it. So keep that in mind. Ethnicity, you've got five or four options for that. Yeah, four options for that. So uh, hair, you can change out that. Uh, then you have boots, gloves. This is where you, you can use all the stuff that you bought, basically. But that's my guy. Weird that the rotation is on this right here to look around. Yeah. All right, cool. Well, that's pretty much the uh, the whole Taylor's Tackles in a nutshell and what you can expect. Hey! Sometimes people will hear that sound of you jumping too and they'll jump back. Give me a good jump. Oh, oh they're doing the crouch. You can, you can communicate with crouch too. Crouch and jump. <laughs> Oh, uh, over here is the board where all you, you'll find like different notes and all sorts of things that you find, but you'll have all these unlocked and these are the different missions. So how to catch a uh, Kakani salmon. We got, I've already done all these, except for I can't catch a bluegill to save my life. Uh, Northern Pike, you've got all these different ones here um, to do as well. And then you have float fishing, one one boat handling. He's like, see that boat right there? That's cool. Uh, and then driving lessons. If you want to get a Jeep, I'll show you. You know what? No, we're good. We're good. Um, here's where you get your uh, your Jeep. You just interact this like that and go, hey, that's that's the one I want. And boom, it just pops it right in there. So there's my Jeep right there. Nice. Not bad at all. We get in here and uh, fire it up. Currently, there is a bug in the game. I hope they do fix it. Um, that when you have this and you get out of the Jeep and walk away, and get into your backpack. It starts the engine of the Jeep up very loud and it won't go away. So there is that. Now the Jeep is pretty fast. It's not not as slow as you would think. I, I've gotten this thing up to like 50, 60 miles an hour out, out and about. So keep that in mind. Just go ahead and park up right here. There we go. Perfect. And uh, if there were some trash cans there, we could have taken them out. That would have been pretty cool. Um, over here, I'll show you the other boats I was talking about. You got them right here. So you can see there's the Linehart 500, which which we have. Uh, and then we have the Cisne Mariner 1. Uh, and then the Ultra Cruiser. Those are the other two boats. And you can see it's all right there. 20 horsepower, four seats. Five horsepower, four seats. But the reason why the Linehart's so slow is 75 horsepower. That's it. That's it. I mean, it should be a lot, but still, you know. All right, cool. But you can interact with it. And since we bought our yellow one, we can get our yellow one. And there it is right there. That's our wonderful boat. So looking at the map, we're going to actually take this thing down here. And what I can do is I can go to this trailhead and go there. I think this is a marina I need to unlock. I'm pretty positive that's what that is. So let's go here. Fast travel. You show what fast traveling's like. It's really quick. And it's so nice to just jump around like the Oh, there's a marina here. Okay, cool. Oh, there's a page. You hear this like weird sound and that's how you get collectible things. Uh, bluegill. 
it always pops up what you've been playing last. The best way to get rid of it is just go here to journal. Blue gill right there. Or sorry, um, here to your tutorial missions. Hit enter to stop following it or stop tracking it, they call it. I wish you could sit in these chairs and just kind of watch the world go by. That'd be pretty cool, right? All right, Lake Jade. If you want to know where you want to catch some big uh, lake trout down here, this is the one. This is the one. They kind of give it away earlier on. I'm trying not to give you any spoilers and stuff because there's a lot of cool stuff within the missions. Uh, exploration is just the key to this game. Let's interact with you and we'll get our yellow boat out. We'll take it out. No problem. And we're just going to go out here and do some jig fishing. Or some lake trout. You boys want some trout? But everywhere you see here on the left and right, you can you can explore and you can go there. You know, except for the very, very edges of the map, obviously, but when it really comes down to it, you can go all over the place, man. It's pretty amazing what you can do in this game. I wish we had more of a wake coming out the back. You know, every time I see like a, a viewpoint like that of the boat motor, you can already you just smell like the the gasoline and stuff. If you've been boating before and fishing on a boat, you know what I'm talking about. But uh, it really seems like a pretty mild amount of wake coming out of the back there. And it's all blurred out because I can't get that turned off for some reason. Okay. I think this is going to be good right here. We're pretty much in the middle of the lake. So let me show you what jigging's like. We showed you the other styles of fishing. I'm going to bring out this bad boy here. Um, this is a massive, massive uh, rod and reel set we got here. So I'm just going to go ahead and right click and drop it in the water. And then don't touch it and watch. You'll see the line be fed out. There it goes right there. So 34.9 meters to the bottom of this lake. And we're going to let that thing go all the way to the bottom before we start jigging and try to catch a lake trout. So it's still going down. If you left click, you'll stop it and it won't continue down and you'll have to redo it. So keep that in mind if you're doing this style of fishing. And I'll show you my uh, my setup here in a minute once we uh, we try to catch something. 28 meters. We want to get down to 35 here. And we're almost there. And 35. So there. So what you can do is left click. There we go. And this is a braided line, so it sounds different. I'm going to bring it up a little bit. About right there. That's perfect. And now all we have to do to jig is start going up and down. And you'll know you're doing it right because you'll see it light up on the presentation. There it is, jigging. And it depends on how long it takes, but sometimes it takes a long time before you get a fish. So I'm going to keep trying this. Haven't had any luck so far. Still trying. We're going to try casting in a different spot. I think that'll be better. I have noticed some of the uh, golden trout have started coming to the surface there. You see a bunch of them around here, so... You might be able to catch one of them and you can just, you know, on the fly, change over to your other, uh, you know, rod and uh, just throw out there real fast. See if they'll hit the, it might hit that frog. Let's see. So I'm going to try a spinner bait. Uh, we'll go with a hook size of six. There we go. And see if they like the spinner bait better. Throw that out there. There we go. That's like right in there. Let it drop down just a little bit. Slow it down. Kind of do a twitch. And they right, liked look, it. If you need me, I'll be down at the main outpost. Come here, buddy. See you soon. Well, he struck it quick. And that warden, he changes from uh, place to place. So here, you can see, oh, he got off. What? <laughs> All right, let's try it again. And you'll notice the fish that if they get off the line or something like that, they'll always come back and strike it again. That's very arcadey. Uh, I do not like that part of it. So there you go. This is the first time I ever caught a golden trout. I've never caught one. So very nice little silver guy, little small, little small boy. All right, so back to jigging again. I'm gonna try again. I'm gonna actually go over here to the front, to the front of the boat and just drop it in right here. And we'll try, try, try again. Oh, we got one. And you can see he's big. I'm bring my attention down. Let me give him some line here. Start reeling him in a little bit. That took a while of doing some jigging right there. I was probably doing that for like five minutes or so. And yeah, let's let him have a little bit of line right now. I'll be fighting this guy for a little while, I have a feeling. So now we're bringing him up a little bit, but I think he's still going to be pretty decent. And uh, 
I'll wait for him to give me the line a little bit and then start doing some pumping on him. Still fighting this thing. 48.5 meters out right now. I can just start to ease it in. He's starting to give up some more. But I got real close and then it ran with it again. So it's not done fighting. This is a huge fish. 20%. All right, we're almost there. But my arm is in the way. It's my biggest pet peeve. My arm is in the way. I can't even see the fish if I wanted to. It's blocking it. That's why we need to be able to look around freely. 13. Ooh, he's taking it again. Oh, man. We're getting closer, though. We are getting closer. Oh, taking a lot more line. No, you don't. We should be able to see it. There's that monster right there. Nice. We got it. Woo! 30.16 pounder. Gold lake trout. Told you they were in this lake. But, man, did it take some time to actually get that one. So, You'll see the realistic side of fishing compared to the arcadey weird stuff that we have seen in the beginning. There's a balance there that needs to be found in this game for sure. Uh, we talk about the UI. Look at that sucker. That is humongous. That is a big fish. That's a very, very big fish. But regardless, we got him. And you can see something to do with the temperature. I'm not sure you know, what that's going to entail down the road if they do something with the weather system because fishing has a lot to do with the weather and temps, and uh, that's what we're seeing right there. Bait use grub traits. Um, I'm going to show you that here in a minute with all that means. Let's just go ahead and release him back to the wild. Made 306 credits off of that one. So if I go into here and I go to the handbook, you can see here, if we go down to Lake Trout, you have traits. So all these fish, you can hit F on them, and they will show you the, the traits. They're a bottom lurker, and they're a hard fighter. But each species has their own traits. If you want to learn about them, you can hit F on them. And you have aggressive, jumper, last stand. So there you go. Very cool that they have uh, all these different things in there. Uh, and different uh, methods of fishing, uh, for sure. Nothing like we've seen out of other games, but, uh, you know, within time, I think that it'll get there. So I'll show you the equipment I was using to catch that guy on my jigging uh, spinning rig, my jig head spinning rig. I had a uh, bait casting style rod, the growler hire, whatever you want to call it, growler. <laughs> um, there you go. That's what I'm using right there. Uh, the reel was a mediator. It's the top of the line one you can get for the bait casting. Uh, and then we had the braided uh, line, 22 pound test. And then we had the jig head hook size one slash zero. And that is required for the grub. That was an extra large right there. That's how we caught that monster fish. And uh, it worked out. Before we say goodbye, I want to go ahead and try to catch this guy right here. He's he's a, a pretty good sized one. Slow you down a little bit. See if he's interested in the spinner bait. Ooh, he is because he's doing the dive. Doing the dive for it. Come on, buddy. Take it. He's being sneaky. Oh, there you go. There's the strike. He's a much bigger fish. There we go. We had to get a bit, a decent sized golden trout. That's a gold 6.69 pounder. Sweet. Release it back to the wild. Here we go back to our boat. And I want to unlock this little uh, place down here. Cause you look on the map we have, Oh, I unlocked it. I guess I just had to get close enough to it. It's a place to uh, put in and get your, uh, your Jeep out, but very cool. Let me know what you thought of the angler. Call of the Wild, the angler, in the comments below. Again, thanks to Expansive Worlds for um, allowing me early access to this. I've been having a lot of fun with it. Even with the janky stuff that we have seen, the, the fun factor is there, for me at least. And honestly, I kind of enjoy some of the arcadey aspects of it. Um, but I would like the options to turn those off. You know, the depth of field in the water, that's got to be fixed. The animations of the fish need a lot of work, honestly. And, uh, yeah, the camera system. We need we need a photo mode. We need a better camera system. Uh, we need the ability to have a locked camera. It's where, you know, you don't... Now it's looking at the tip of the rod because, man, that drives you crazy. And it also blocks your view of the fish whenever you're pulling up a monster from the, uh, the, the depths that we saw here today. So those are things that need to be worked on. Is it a perfect game? No. Um, I don't do reviews on my channel. I just do first looks. You see the game for what it is and what you think you, you can expect. Will it be fixed by the time it releases on the 31st? I don't know. Um, that is a good question. And uh, I really do hope that it will. Uh, I do have high hopes, like I said. Um, I want more from the game. We get more species, different maps. It's going to be a lot of fun, especially, you know, with the 
the various uh, monsters that you can pull out of rivers and stuff that we have all seen on river monsters and stuff. <laughs> but that would be really cool to go like, you know, into South America and do some fishing down there and, and, and so on and so forth. Oh, there's another page over here to unlock. We'll take that guy away. There we go. And that's where we can get ourselves a Jeep. But um, yeah, it's uh, it, it's got a lot of problems. Um, it's probably not going to be ready on on release. I I, I don't know, uh, so I can't I can't really say I recommend a game uh, based off of those those uh, those details. People have been putting reviews out there. There's people that are really really into fishing games um, that are much better than I am when it comes to to all of that and what you can expect out of it. I'm just trying to show you for face value what you're seeing here. Um, but yeah, it needs some work for sure. It's not as perfect as I thought it was going to be out of the box, but no game really is these days. That's just kind of the state we're in, but that'll do it. I'll see you guys next time. Take care.